Breaker of Chains. <laughs> Breaker of Chains was the first track that I did with Chingare when I first joined the group when Clay Wyland was still in it. He's not in it now. And I came into the studio with you guys to record vocals. Mm -hmm. And we had no plan. I had no idea what the track sounded like. had never heard it before that day. I just showed up because I like to roll like that anyway. <laughs> and I was super happy that they were spontaneous like that and didn't want to over rehearse and over plan and over produce and just let things happen. So I came in and we're all packed into this little room and heard the beat and immediately, you know, the download started. <laughs> I said, okay, I got something. And I started just what's called toning, vocal toning over top of the track. And it's where you're using vowel sounds and syllables and overtones, but no actual words in any known language. And I like toning because the energy of what you're conveying, who you are, your message, can come through unimpeded by words that have all these connotations and people can misinterpret them and misunderstand them or just hear them wrong or they assume that they know what you're talking about because they know the word and they may not know what you meant. So it was really fun to kind of experiment with just allowing what, what needed to be conveyed to be conveyed without words with just the energy of the vowels and the consonants creating this kind of percussive hook and I think it was it's definitely interesting for people we've had a lot of questions about break like they go what well, what does it mean what what language is that <laughs> no, what is she saying what do you want it to mean what do you want it to mean yeah it's it's really just breaker of chains for me is I look at art as an emancipator and what we do we hope that people can connect with it and free themselves from some little piece of something they feel is holding them back from being who they want to be, doing what they want to do, whatever it is. And this song, Breaker, is just about humans freeing themselves. Mm -hmm. And you don't need words to, to convey that. I agree. Um, yeah, and, and you know, also, it was our first track. It was something that we put together, I don't, like she said, spontaneously. All we had was a drum beat. And, sh and she came in and blessed the whole thing with her voice. Um, like she was saying, Clay Wyland used to be with our act. He was on Breaker Chains, Wind Over Water, The Tunnel, and Guy in Mind. Um, and he, you know, he was an awesome part of this, you know, process. He had to, uh, you know, take a, a leave of absence with us because he wanted to pursue more of the, um, his own massage business and family lifestyle. So, and, you know, we have a lot of gratitude for him, and he was a He's a good guy to work with. So, um, but yeah, Breaker to me would had um, it, for me it was like the first real track that I had put together using the equipment that I'm using now, and it was super refreshing. Um, it was also my learning track when it came to mix down and all this stuff. So. Uh, it was uh, quite the process, but I like how simple and how minimal it is in some ways. It has like kind of a video game feel to it in a way. Um, a really cool like Nine Inch Nails-esque bridge in, in, at the end, you know. Um, but, you know, it was amazing how it evolved, you know. It was drums, vocals, and then the bass line, and then, you know, you know all the other instruments that we incorporated into it. And um, it was just kind of strange how it unfolded, you know, it almost un made itself unfold, and we really had no control in the situation, you know, so. It's good not to think that you're controlling your work. Right. It's a good way to make bad work. Yeah. <laughs> so if you think you're controlling it, it's coming from your head and nothing good comes from your no, head. No, no. Yeah. So we like to just kind of give ourselves at least a few opportunities to just channel and let the track become what it wants to become. It's like a child, you know, you don't own your children. You just bring them here and, and they become what they choose to become. So we're kind of looking at our tracks in the same way. like. We'll let that original idea come through and just not mess with it and not over mess with the knobs and buttons and just let it be and mm -hmm. and try not to overproduce. Yeah, that's the key. That's so, the key. Or make yeah. it, at least make it sound like it's overproduced. Yeah. I think that, you know, our first EP, The Tunnel, 
it's when we came together and it's how we figured out how to work together and now that we have a second EP out and two more actually half done yeah um, it's really looking back now we see how crucial the tunnel was in us figuring out our process and creating art to share as a group it's just it'll always be you'll, you'll never forget the first one so. no not at all uh, definitely all learning experiences 